Loki. Where are these Zimzoers? Hey, worm lord. Loki always cheats. Loki also always goes dwarves. It's just part of cheating. It comes with the territory. Take the unit here. The builds into an actual comp rather than an egg when I'm already pretty strong. Any mean unicorn loses to like nothing. And before we get egged. XP every turn to six. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my god. I did call it. I did call it. I should not have called it. That's my bad. Crack an egg this turn. Aim it. It's fine. How am I losing fights? <sighs> this is not a board that should be at 32 life. Oh my god. Well, I got a better unit anyway. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not the lobby. It's just I got egged turn one and then popped turn two. And the pup had the support and the cheated unit and the black cat. Pup start was kind of gross. Pup start was really gross. <laughs> Just stomping this egg gamer. <laughs> uh... Why Loki at 32? Somehow I'm in dwarves already. My bad. Sometimes you just upgrade a fanny on 3.0. Oh, I needed to move the fanny over. It shouldn't matter, but I did have a better positioning. I was uh, trying to maximize the odds of Lucky dying. That's what I was doing. I knew I was winning this fight no matter what, so I just wanted to make sure that I have... Hello? Okay. I'll take it, <laughs> whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, do this to play around Dragon, I guess? A lot of upgrades. Yeah, who needs a full board? Just upgrade Fanny into upgrade Crafty into... Have a 613 Rainbow Unicorn. I have a 613 Rainbow Unicorn. value for you. Maybe. Yeah, this is very above average for number of treasures. I'm happy if I'm getting one treasure before level 4. This is kind of absurd. They're all like pretty good upgrades too. Like a rainbow unicorn that got a bunch of spell buffs. Fanny and Crafty. Crafty especially good because of all the other treasures I've gotten. Okay. 
Oh, the unicorn text is irrelevant, but the unicorn body. That is a 613. Dragon's Nest. My dragons get plus five, plus five. Why? <laughs> I guess I sold the other one. It's not paired. Uh, short. We have no dragons, correct. We have no dragons. It seemed better than skipping. Because of the crafty. And there's a chance that I pick up a Lightning Dragon on four. Nice with the chickens. Let's sell this for a roll. Oh, Sporko. Steed had a good chance to be Forge. Uh, only if I find a white and trigger it. At that point, it's kind of whatever. Sporko better than chicken. Uh, it's stronger on the board than chicken. Sporko is also one gold, or chicken is three. It's if we're getting donkeyed. I don't think Sporko would have made a difference, though. There are four. Yeah. I just I don't really care about the Sporko until I get the Tweedle. And even with the, the Tweedle, I don't necessarily need it. I could sell these and buy a Creeper. I'm not going to, but... Next turn, I get to start picking up Angries. Angry better than Bossy. Yeah. I'd probably buy a Bossy if I saw it first. The board's probably scuffed enough. Just to replace the Nutcracker. Hopefully this nutcracker just turns into a forge. Yorm! Yikes, I am going to die. Stabilizes me. Just take the safety. You want any of these? I can buy the Sporko. I do need to fill my board.
Well, my board's gotten a lot better. Boss, you're angry. No, just two upgraded Tweedledees and a Spear of Achilles. Dead dragon. It's not upgraded. The lobby's dying. Even clear that I ever want these. Yeah, we're dwarfing pretty well. Early game was a bit scuffed, but actually, was the early game even scuffed? I think we just like got hit by the high roll waddle, hit by the high roll pop, and lost a couple early fights. The early game mostly went well. There were just some people that went a little bit better. Pop literally had an upgraded Yorm on natural 4.2. Steenless Bearstein. Is it ever gonna be? If there's more to do with my gold than just buy angry here, I probably wouldn't buy it. It's a good mid-game unit for other comps, though. I think that's the reason to not hit it. It gives you an on-ramp into dwarves. It isn't hard committing for dwarves. the things the game generally lacks is overlap between archetypes. Tweedledee is a, a great thing that you can just like slot in with Sporkos in your mid-game comp without committing to anything and staying open to stuff. I want more of these. It's not as much as I want Lordy. Oh lordy. More angry. It's not as worth buying by the time 5 comes around. Where like Tweedle Sporko is fine. 
it's good to have. At five, you'd probably rather be picking up like sirens, which don't build into anything. They're just a thing. Uh oh. scarier than it is. Didn't I just fight Capetto? I'm not fighting again. Um, get up the forge here. This actually lets me play the Echo. Which does resolve before the Ring of Meteors for some reason. Don't ask why, but it works. Right, Mail Gear. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with positioning. I'm not gonna risk it, but I'm pretty sure it just always does the uh the boost after the angry. Or does the resolves the damage after the angry boost. Or, like, state-based things are checked after the Angry Boost. She won't joke. I'm aware. I'm aware. No, my Tweedledee. <laughs> Double Ring of Meteors got him pretty good. Fight the scary pup. Yep. Thanks, Loki. <laughs> I could always count on you. Uh Problem. It's okay, we've got Tweedledees. That's all you really need, right? Tweedledee is secretly the best dwarf unit. No! That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Hopefully we get the ghost. No. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is good too. Um. This Tweedle kind of sucked. I mean, it's still... it's better than this. So, the lordy -less lads. <gasps> He's there. Put this... Oh, yeah, I can try that. Oh, it does depend on positioning. Interesting. I guess I've just never positioned the echoes before the angry. Well, 
Oh. We win! Loki's lordiless lads.